In this video, we will be implementing live video calling using Zigo Cloud SDK. Zigo Cloud is a robust platform that enables users to make high quality video and audio calls and easily host virtual meetings. It is designed to be user friendly, allowing anyone to get started with just a few clicks. With Zigo Cloud, there's no need for complicated setups or technical how no. With advanced video and audio technology, users can enjoy clear, crisp video and audio, even during long calls. Whether you're conducting a virtual meeting with a team or having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a friend, Zigo Cloud ensures that you'll be able to communicate effectively without any technical hiccups. The best feature of Zigo Cloud is its pre-built UI kits which are so easy to integrate with any platform and hardly takes 15 minutes to implement a production-ready application. Moreover, you get 10,000 minutes for free, which you can use for any communication service like video calling, audio calling, and live streaming. To get started, create a free account and log into the dashboard. Create a new project and select voice and video call. Give your project a name and start with UI kits. It will take some time to create your project. Choose your platform. In our case, we will choose Flutter and save the settings. You will see your app ID and app sign. Copy them as we will use them later in our Flutter project. Create a new Flutter project and open it inside your favorite IDE. Open terminal and add the Zigo UI kit per built call dependency. You can directly add the dependency inside pubspec.yaml file. Open your Android menifis.xml file from Android, app, source, main, and add the following permissions above the application tag. In your project's Android, app folder, create a ProGuard rules.profile and add the following content to prevent obfuscation of SDK public class names. Open build.gradle file inside Android, app folder and change the compile SDK version to 33, minimum SDK version to 21 and add the path to ProGuard rules file to the release part. For iOS, open iOS, runner, info.plist file and place the following permissions inside dict tag. Let's start building our app. Open the main.dart file and create a simple text field and an elevated button to join the call. The text field will be used to get the call ID from the user which must be the same for both users. On pressing the join button, we will get the ID from the text field controller and pass it to the call screen. The call screen will return the Zigo UI kit per built call widget which is per built calling screen. Pass your app ID and app sign which you copied earlier from dashboard. We will have to create an ID to the current user which we can randomly generate. You can use a user management system to manage user IDs. Also pass the username and the call ID. We can also set some configuration for our call, like if other user ends the call, move to previous screen. Generate the random ID and also get the call ID in the constructor. You can also visit custom prebuilt UI page for customization of calling screen and applying other configuration. It's time to test our app. Install the app on two different devices. I am using an emulator and a real device. Enter the same call ID on both devices and press join. That's it for this video. Hit the like button and subscribe for more.